Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to connect your lookup field into multiple objects. So this is just an ordinary lookup that finds an account, but let's just say that I want to search an account and I want to search contacts as well from the same lookup. So I'm going to head over to the settings, click on the mapping on the mapping settings and set the mapping and we have a new um, radio here, multiple mode, and I'm going to tick it, put it on, and let's take a look at the field. So the title is, um, we can title it as we like. So we're just going to write, um, leave it as the account. You can set the order of, when, of, of how you want this to run, what to search for first. And the return record ID 2 is very important because um, we're used to using lookups in the way of um, once we query something according to the lookup value, then let's say we would look up an account and then we'll say give me bring me the accounts that the account ID equals to our value, which is if you set it to be the account ID or the account name, then we will basically store the lookup value with the with the value that you have selected and then you can search upon it but if you have multiple lookups here then it won't store all of them it will store just one of them so the point here we give you an option to relate your record ID into a hidden so let's say I will I will create a hidden here one for um, one for the account ID so we'll call this a account ID and the other one will be for um, let's say we're gonna search for a contact so it will be contact ID and I'm gonna head back to my lookup and return this one to the account ID and now I'm gonna add another object let's add a contact and no conditions we're just gonna apply and we have another tab here and we got the contact ID and the value and I'm going to return it to this um, to this uh, hidden. So I'm going to apply and search. Let's, let's publish this and see what we can get. So we're going to look for Gene and we can see that we found in the account Gene. Um, let's uh, play around with this a little bit. So I'm going to head over to my accounts. I'm going to head over to my contacts and I will create a new contact that has, uh, let's say, last name is Gene as well. We'll save the contact. Let's just take a look at our settings again just to make sure we're searching for the um, okay, so we're searching the full name, that should do it. And we're going to refresh our form and search for Gene. And we can see our uh, contact Gene came out. So let's say that now, once I select it, I want to act upon it. So it's very simple. The only thing I have to do is head over to my integration settings. Let's just throw in uh, <clears throat> a couple of fields here. So we're going to do, let's say, an input. And we're going to call it ACCSLA, just one field. And we're going to do um, another one. And we will call it, let's say, contact email. We'll save this. Let's head over to our get, and now we can select the account object. Okay, <clears throat> and our condition will be um, account ID equals to my hidden, and we're gonna map the uh, SLA. I'm going to select the SLA here as well. 
and I'm going to create another object or contact. I'm going to do the same thing. So the condition contact ID equals my contact ID. And let's, what did I map there? I don't remember. So what's the email? And so we're going to select the email here and save our form. Let's refresh it. Let's search something. Let's select Gene. And we can see the account of Soleil is bronze. Now I'm going to select, uh, let's reset and select this guy and we can see that the contact email is here as well. There's another option that I didn't show you on the multiple uh, lookup. We can do leave open after selection. So let's see what that will do. We'll refresh that. If I click this one, it's still is on. Um, the, the lookup stays on so I can select something else. Let's say now, okay, I selected an account. Now I want to select a contact and I'll close it and I have the information here. And this is how it's done. Have fun with it.